Hey guys, so, uh, how's it going? Um, this is Ninja Duck. Um, so, today I'm going to talk to you about why you shouldn't buy, the top five reasons why you shouldn't buy a Walmart board. So, the main reason to me seems to be that they're really, really cheap, and so that does seem to be very, very enticing. Um, but also, it's not the greatest thing whenever you're, um, you're looking for your first board for it to be super, super cheap like that. It's uh, it's bound to have issues, just like if you buy a really, really cheap car, it's bound to have issues, and um, uh, even if you buy some of the more expensive Walmart brand, or not brands, um, more expensive Walmart boards, um, you'll just quickly outgrow those parts, um, and it's just going to almost be worthless to even buy those parts to begin with, and um, so yeah, uh, that's the main reason is just that they're super, super cheap, bound to have issues, and when they're below the standard issue, um, they're just bound to have issues like trucks, wheels, bearings, deck, grip tape. Um, so yeah, that's just one of the few main reasons why you shouldn't um, really buy like a Walmart board to begin with. It's just because they are under that like sort of like fair market value. And then at two, the main complaint I see on YouTube a lot is that the boards don't actually roll and trying to learn on it where it just sort of moves kind of in a not so good way would definitely not help your skating at all and definitely not be super super great for you if you're trying to learn and um, yeah if you're trying to learn on something that doesn't work properly you're definitely not gonna be wanting to continue any further so that definitely would not be great for anyone trying to learn on a learn to like skate, do all that good stuff, and um, like I said, just that they're super super cheap, you're going to end up outgrowing the bearings, wheels, and all that, so it's one is to buy the board, and then uh, three is that, yeah, three, <laughs> sorry, um, three is that, um, is since they are so cheap, there's just something bound to be wrong with them. Um, to me it always seems to be the trucks. Don't get them because of the trucks. Because if you're trying to le go left, it's definitely not going to um, turn left. Or it's going to be very, very delayed. Whether it's left, right, you know. And if you're trying to learn on that, it's definitely not going to be super, super great. And um, then... So yeah, if you're trying to... It's just not going to be very great for beginners if you're trying to or on something that, like I said, doesn't work properly or doesn't uh, function like it should. And then, uh, four is just, even if you do decide to upgrade the parts on it, like wheels, trucks, and bearings, um, you'll just end up paying for a super, super cheap debt that you'll end up outgrowing, like I've been saying. And, um, definitely it's just not going to be worth your money, if, especially if you don't even know if you're just starting out and you're trying to learn how to skate um, so unless you're like a real experienced skater who knows how to work on all your own boards I would say just avoid the Walmart boards or big department store boards anyway and then um, I guess number five would just be that it's kind of like a balsa the deck is sort of a balsa wood so it's probably gonna break one way or the other, whether you're doing big, big grinds, or you're doing, um, going off curbs and doing simple stuff like that, even if it doesn't break, it's going to pressure crack, pressure crack, pressure crack, and then just kind of start to break off from there, so the amount of regular wear and tear that a normal board would take, um, a Walmart board definitely is not going to support, like, a full ground person or someone learning how to skate on it, whether it's um, a tiny toddler or someone who's fully grown, whether that be a variation of heights and weights, it's definitely not going to help to have a board that just wears out super, super quick. And they're like just factory produced, so they're not tested for quality, strength, all that good stuff like maybe a top of the line brand is going to be that has team riders. So if you do your so I would recommend doing some research, seeing which brands have like team riders and all that good stuff. And that would definitely tell you that that company knows what they're doing and that 
they a actually have people that are giving them feedback before that board even hits the market. So definitely look at that as an indicator whether it's a good board or not, like whether they have a, a team, um, and if they're in a skate shop, like Zoomies or your local skate shop. So definitely um, look at that and um, don't go to department stores to for your first board because that's definitely going to discourage you from skating. Definitely because um, it's just not going to work properly and you're going to be like, wow, this board sucks, I don't want to ever skate again. Um, so definitely I would recommend going to uh, a shop where they actually have good skate brands and then just asking them. So definitely do that. And um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys Friday at NinjaDuck 2.0. Don't forget to check me out on Patreon at NinjaDuck. And then, of course, um, Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday here. See you guys Friday.